Yo, what is up y'all? My name is Devin and today I'm going to be explaining why testosterone causes an increase in hunger and subsequently an increase in body mass. Essentially, why testosterone makes you feel like eating the universe and why it causes you to gain weight, okay? But before we get into that, if you are interested in one-on-one coaching, a meal plan, or a training plan, be sure to email me at devindoscoaching at gmail.com. I will also be including the link for my cookbook, High Protein Cookbook, which is mad helpful if you want to increase your gains, as well as my dumbbell-only training plan, which is excellent if you're someone who's training at home with minimal equipment. I'll be including the link for those down below in the description okay now let's go ahead and get into why testosterone makes us hungry as fuck The biggest aspect as to why testosterone causes an increase in hunger and why it causes an increase in body mass is because testosterone is an androgenic anabolic steroid essentially, right? I'm not saying that trans guys use testosterone as a steroid. Most of us are within that range, which is from 300 to around 900 nanograms per deciliter. If you're in the super physiological range, which is past 900 nanograms per deciliter, then no, you're not within that range. Anabolic simply means promoting muscle growth. Androgenic means that it promotes the secondary sex characteristics of male. That's going to be like facial hair, our voice dropping, increased libido. With the anabolic aspect of testosterone, causes an increase in lean body mass. Pretty simply put, it makes you gain muscle. Whether you're training or not, it's gonna cause an increase in lean body mass. Also, something cool that testosterone does decreases your subcutaneous fat and increases your visceral organ fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that is like under your skin, and visceral fat is the fat that is around your organ. So, with this increase in lean body mass, your body is gonna be like, whoa, I'm burning a lot of calories right now. I need to find equilibrium, so I'm gonna eat more food to compensate for the calories that I'm burning. Because you're taking testosterone, which is an anabolic drug, your body is having an increase in muscle mass. Muscle mass is what burns calories. So your body is like, I'm burning a lot of calories. I need more food coming in to compensate for this high energy output because remember calories are energy. That's why we're like, oh, I started testosterone maybe at the two, three month mark. You're like, bro, I'm fucking hungry. And I see a lot of trans masculine people question this. They don't know what the fuck is going on or why this is happening. How can we use this increase in hunger, this increase in body mass in a positive way? There are two primary ways to do this. The first way is going to be to make sure that you have a nice evenly distributed amount of macro. So I suggest having at least one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass. It's important to not just have one gram of protein per pound of body mass. If you're overweight, if you weigh 300 pounds, you don't need to have 300 grams of protein. I simply suggest checking out a body mass calculator, which can indicate how much of your body weight is lean mass, and then you would eat that amount of protein. If you're more so within the normal BMI range and you're not overweight, you're not underweight, then I suggest eating around a gram of protein per pound of body weight. The next way that you can capitalize on this increase in hunger is by, get ready for this, some of y'all are gonna roll your eyes. I know I can feel it already. Resistance training. That can mean weight training. You can also do something like climbing. You can also do calisthenics. Anything like that where you're actively being challenged is going to be major when it comes to increasing your muscle mass. I obviously prefer weight training if you couldn't tell. I just find that that is the easiest way to track progressive overload. It's the easiest way to build muscle. Of course, building muscle is hard as fuck, but progressive overload is the key to muscle growth and bodybuilding, powerlifting, weight training in general is really easy to track progressive overload. By being mindful of your caloric intake and being mindful of your macro intake, you're gonna be able to sort of bias that increase in body mass towards being lean body mass as opposed to starting testosterone, not moving around a whole lot. You know, you're pretty sedentary and then you have this increase and hunger, you're going to gain fat. Whereas you start testosterone, you're like, okay, I'm going to try to be mindful of how I'm eating. I'm going to make sure I get in nice lean protein. I'm going to try to keep my foods overall clean. I'm going to move around a little bit. Both of those variables are going to highly impact how that newbie testosterone weight shows up on you. Ultimately, weight gain is not a negative thing. It just really depends on what your goals are, what you're aiming for. If you are looking to lose body mass, don't think that testosterone will not work for you. You just have to be more mindful that you're going to be gaining muscle mass. So the scale is not going to tell the full story because you're gaining muscle mass and muscle weighs more than fat you might hop on the scale and you've lost for example two pounds of body fat but you've gained two pounds of muscle mass well the scale is going to tell you that you haven't made any progress whatsoever but if you take progress pictures you'll see okay my body composition is changing a bit so that's why you hear people say all the time the scale does not tell the full story so that's why i always advise people take fasted progress photos once a week or every other week that way you can actually track your progress if you guys have any experiences with that initial testosterone weight gain that initial testosterone 
hunger increase, feel free to share that below. I read this thing on Reddit the other day where this guy said that testosterone was making them not hungry. Everybody does respond to hormones differently, but that just totally blew my mind. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I upload my bodybuilding progress. It is at DVN SPRS, but I'm also going to be linking that below. If you are interested in coaching, a meal plan, or a training plan, my email is also going to be linked down below. And like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a Don. And Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.